Just wanted to share with you some of my most recent thrift hauls. I found some great things to decorate for Christmas with. Also, I have some projects coming up with some of the things I found, so keep a lookout for those videos coming up here soon. I thrifted this beautiful painting behind me, so check that out. And I also share some ideas of things that you can be on the lookout for to package food gifts or to bring food to people's houses for the holidays. So grab a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and hang out for a little bit, check out what I found, and I hope that it inspires you to do some thrifting of your own. So this video is just a compilation of a couple of small thrift hauls, some of which I'm gonna be using um, for Christmas decorating or for putting in my booth or selling online. And then some of it, uh, at the end you'll see I thrifted this fantastic fall uh, painting and you'll see how I decorated my mantle and my fireplace for fall. That was my last thing to do. I did it a couple weeks ago, but I just put it on the end of this video. These beautiful frosted glass bell ornaments I paid $1.50 for. I will probably use them to decorate a mini tree or to put on my tree. I haven't decided what color scheme I want to go with this year. so. We'll see what happens with those. Then these mugs I got for 50 cents a piece and they're that iconic 80s Allen Wood Christmas graphic. Um, they're so bright and colorful and cheerful and they would make a great gift for someone. Include a gift card to um, a local coffee shop or maybe some tea that's been blended by a local artist at like your farmer's market or from Etsy you could order something make a great gift and I'll be selling those in my antique uh, booth I have a shelving unit in an antique booth near me so I'll be selling those there and then here's a wine bottle coaster I thrifted one and I used it in a video already you can see how I wrapped up a wine gift using that it's just a nice addition if you're giving someone a bottle of wine to include one of those especially if they love red wine. And then this is my probably gonna be my favorite find for the holidays for winter, this dear winter scene rug. This one is in such good condition. It didn't have any fringe along the outsides of it, which that can get really ratty looking. Sometimes you have to cut it off. Um, but this, I just, I love it. It's so, it's cozy and then it also kind of gives you that shivery like winter feeling when you look at it. And these decorative rugs, I don't, I'm not sure if people use these actually as rugs or if they mostly, you know, um, put them on a tabletop or hung them. They might have pinned them to the wall. Leave me a comment if you know, if you remember, maybe like a grandparent, how they ha how they would use those. And then this I got from, I have a um, shelving unit at the Gallery of Arts and Antiques near me and I bought this from another vendor. It's beautiful. I paid probably about six or seven dollars for this, and and it's a hobbyist piece. But I just loved the the design of it and the color. So I'll be using that to decorate with. This was just a little bag of hodgepodge. This I think I paid a couple bucks for. But there's a poodle in a bathtub, and then a Christmas tree on a piano, older ornaments, and I really liked those. So. This at one point was probably bright red, but the person had said that it was in the attic of their grandparents' house, and it's one of those bell ornament um, Christmas decorations. This was a made in Italy Christmas candle. I really like that. I only paid a couple dollars for that, so I'll be decorating uh, with that in my own decor. And then this last item is a snake wrapped around an enameled apple. It's a solid perfume holder. And I did look up and see who the maker was, but I can't think off the top of my head. But it's um, a pendant, or I'm going to be putting it on my vanity. And I just love that. I thought that was uh, very ironic and humorous. <laughs> and I saw this while I was out. I think it was at Michael's. And I'll show you I found this thing that that I'm going to use to try to maybe recreate that or maybe just take some inspiration I think I could make it probably nicer than than what that was I only paid four dollars for that so with some dollar store lights and some greenery or something in there I think I could make a fun kind of I don't I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it but something that'll be in an upcoming video for sure and then I also found this nice woven table runner it's red and green I'm not sure if it was necessarily meant for Christmas but that's what I'm going to be using it for it's only a dollar ninety nine I found this jigger for 99 cents. I included that with one of my boozy gift baskets that you saw in a, in a previous video. This is a Viking, no, 
Yeah, Viking crown dish. It's so uh, like MCM. I love it. I'm keeping that for myself. It's only $1.99. It's this really pretty smoky pink color. It looked odd on camera, but I'm going to be using this top hat to make something. Paid $2.50 for that. Probably a cute little Christmas decoration. You can find those, you know, they're out there. Clear or white versions of those hats. And there's my feet. And then I also thrifted this painting. Uh, I only paid $6.99 for it. I love this. This screams fall and winter to me. It's a mill and kind of like a fall winter-esque um, scene. It's got some schmutz on it. I don't mind schmutz because I cleaned it off. And this is how I decorated my mantle for fall. I took down my Halloween decorations and it perfectly covers my cheesy fireplace with my fake gas logs that I don't love. And this thing is huge. I only paid $6.99 for this. And I know it's kind of a 70s vibe, but it's fitting with my fall decor. And I'm really happy with that. You can find some really great, unique things out there for very inexpensive. So you can often find um, really big statement pieces of art for cheap while you're out thrifting. Um, and then I found this dish. It's plastic. I'm guessing it's probably from the 60s or 70s. It's in really good condition now, so I don't, I'm not sure. And it's got this great fruit graphic. And then also I lucked out on this one at my St. Vincent de Paul, different colors of labels go on sale. Sometimes it's 99 cents, sometimes it's 50% off. This day it was 99 cents. So I got all of these beautiful blue and white china dishes for 99 cents, this whole stack, which I'm gonna be using them to gift um, snacks or cookies or you know, whatever gifts for Christmas and I paid less than I would have at the dollar store so I really encourage you to check out your local thrift stores charity shops um, you know you're reusing something that already exists in the world it's gonna be really good quality people may use it again after the fact it's not just a throwaway I love these uh, nautical plates I'll probably be keeping one of them for myself because I have blue and white china but yeah this was a this was a good find i think it's because it was all taped together and they were asking 15 dollars. just wanted to share with you some ideas of things to look out for to package food gifts or to bring food to parties you can find metal trays for really cheap you saw those china dishes that i have um, that divided dish that'd be perfect for veggies and dip uh, you can always find wooden bowls, plates, trays, just a little bit of oil to condition them and they make a beautiful gift to include with whatever goodies that you made. Also um, divided griddle plates, those are perfect for like making little candy trays or cookie trays. Glass bowls, you could add in some Chex Mix or Oyster Cracker um, Ranch Mix, something like that. Or if you make the Christmas trash, that'd be perfect. And then this would be great for like maple syrup or honey or something pourable. So keep an eye out while you're out thrifting for packaging ideas. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also crafting and decorating and recipes and all kinds of goodies. Thank you again for watching. I hope that you have a safe, healthy, happy holiday season.